Best mixtape I've ever heard in my life. Ping is my favorite song ever. I use that too much as my, 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 my alarm. Ping, 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 ping. Yes, yeah, it's like a TV, you dig? Uh, you can youngster CP10 suffer for beauty. This cow is dry already, there's no more milk, this man is still milking it, cuz. Yo, now is this water coming out of that cow, man? Yo, facts, leave the cow alone, yeah, yo. Man is really still just using young Shiny J. He the plug, boy. <laughs> the first number I heard, no? First number I heard, who shot who? It wasn't Benny McCarthy, it was who shot who? And when I heard that song, I was like, yo, it's actually gefaarlijk. This is actually a word, yo, this man is actually spitting off of that who shot you beat from, from Biggie Smalls, you, you feel me? And I knew already, as soon as I read who shot who, it sounded like who shot you from Biggie, and I was like, ah, sick of gonna be off that beat. But uh, Shane and Jay just like gave it more of a modern feel, you know what I mean? It's the same beat, but a modern feel, maybe he made the drums a bit more, you know what I'm saying? He added, like, added claps, I think, and shit. That song was so far, like when I heard that song, I was actually like, yo, that mixtape is gonna be dope, say, no, I was like, yo, I was excited, say, and then, then I played the mixtape. From top to bottom. So the first number I heard was ping. You know what I'm saying? Ping, 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 ping. That number, no? I listened to it. It's like, okay. The chorus is very cuck. <laughs> the chorus is very cuck. <laughs> His verse was alright. You know what I mean? The verse wasn't bad in the song. But that chorus is so cuck. Ping, 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 ping. They want me to win. Win, 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 win. <laughs> I was like, okay. Okay, now. Nah. Okay. First song. Okay, so right. I must didn't hear Benny McCarthy yet. So I was like, okay. I, in my mind, Benny McCarthy is going to be the number. You know what I mean? That's going to be... Because there was so much hype around that number, man. I must didn't hear that number yet. So I was like, okay. That number I'm saving for last, man. Or I'm just going to go in order of this mixtape. Okay, so ping. Klaar. Like, nah, okay. Kak song, but alright song, actually. Sweet sides. It was better than ping. Payday was also alright. You feel me? Payday, I felt like, was like... You could, a man could relate, but yeah, no, man. I can't, I don't feel Curse Liquor in the whole mixtape. I feel like Curse didn't make this with us as the audience. Like he didn't intend us to be the audience. He made it for himself, man. This whole mixtape is for himself. Especially Benny McCarthy is for himself. It's not for us. This man did not make these numbers for us. This is like a personal diary for him. Not for us. I promise you this mixtape was not made for us. I, just listen, Curse. Then doing it here, no? Okay, so, so the, the, the mixtape is called Suffer for Beauty, right? Which means basically in the music industry, as, as an independent artist, you have to suffer, man. You have to go through all the cuck to come out on top. And now this, this whole mixtape is basically a diary for him, man. Not a diary. Yeah, a diary is like all his emotions and feelings he's letting out in this mixtape for himself, Jay. Not for us. He's not trying to... Win us over because he kala won us. You know what I mean? That's the thing, man. He kala, he won us already. I'm still a youngster CPT fan. Like, I, I still my nigga. But at the end of these numbers, I'm going to tell you something. You feel me? In here, okay. And here was also average as fuck. Average. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. You dig? Which means, uh, uh, what? What do you mean? Like, they pull me say that. Huh? Say now they be, they, they, they're like, yeah, I'm going to do something in the future. Then the other person will be like, Alhamdulillah. Almost like, God willing. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, oh. Something like that, man. Tell me if you're Muslim now and you... I should know this. <laughs> I think it means God willing. Like, 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 you know what I mean? I'm going to do something in the future. God willing, everything is good. So, like, almost like wishing good luck on myself. Alhamdulillah. But yeah, man. That number was confined. Like, who should do? Alhamdulillah. Stressful. And payday. You feel me? And sweet sides. Because... I think those numbers, no, gave more of like a West Coast feel to it. Coming from a fan of Youngster, no, the way he raps in, in this mixtape, no, is not gevaarlijk. It's not how I, no women. It's not how I hear this man. It's, it was cuck for me, man, because ping, 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 ping. That describes the whole mixtape for me, man. That describes the whole fucking mixtape for me. But let, let me just, yeah, let, let's not even go. Yes, let's go over these other numbers. I'm going over Oppenheimer, that's a, a po political number, alright? Uh, expect myself, okay? Uh, 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 stressful, dope. I, I feel stressful, like that number I could relate to. You dig? Then it comes to Benny McCarthy, right? The song was so overhyped. I think Curse is doing a music video for that because look here. 
on Facebook, he posted a video, a picture, posted a picture, you're in Ocean View on the lunch, on the, the pitch, the field, where soccer, with, with soccer players behind him. Now, obviously, Benny McCart, but look here, man. Let me ask you this. Okay, Benny McCart, you know, is a tribute to Benny McCart. <laughs> the reason why I say Benny McCart and not Benny McCarthy is because all my life, I thought this man's surname was Benny, was, was McCarthy. Because nobody in Ocean View ever called this man McCarthy. You know what I mean? I really thought this man's surname was spelled M-C-A-T-T-I, McCarthy, not McCarthy. <laughs> so I'm not going to say McCarthy because I've never said that in my life. Whenever I heard that man's name, I heard McCarthy, not McCarthy. So when I say McCarthy, just understand, because that's how I know him. <laughs> that's, that's how I know that man's name. Now look at I respect Benny McCarthy so much because in the beginning of the, the song, you hear that man talking and saying, look at the Owens, scowled me, they underestimated me, they hated me, they were talking cack about me. I mean, I'm from, I'm from Hanover and, and Park. Uh, uh, I'm just going to be focal of it. And look here, everyone was just hating on this man, man. Saying, yeah, he's a has-been. This man will never do focal. He's just a bitch-ass nigga. All that stuff, right? I'm to find out this man is coaching a team that all of the, the colored light is... Yo, this, this man is loving that light, his dreams. To, not meeting Ronaldo. This man is coaching Ronaldo. What the fuck? Teaching that man how to strike. Yeah, I'm saying, what the fuck? Okay, first people got mad, no? Because they were like, why is this man saying it's for, for AKA? When it's actually, when he only mentions AKA once in the song. You always must understand, the song wasn't made for AKA. He mentions AKA in the song because he tells the story because Benny McCart is AKA he is one of AKA's biggest I like he looks up to that man. You know what I mean? AKA looks up to Benny McCart and when they shot main O's they when youngster took AKA to an over park, he told let me just make sure I'm recording. He FaceTimed Benny McCart and, and AKA went mild man because he got to see Benny McCart and, and he said, Yeah, I'm here in your home turf, you dig. So it's a tribute to Benny McCart. In memory of AKA. That's what the Owens didn't find. You guys thought it's a tribute to AKA and, and thought youngsters just trying to feed off of AKA's death. Nah, youngsters not to push like that, man. He's not a fake ass nigga to where he's gonna take advantage of a nigga's death. A uh, homie asked me to do uh, a video on cost cost that tits. I can't do that, guys. I can't because I, I, I was interested in the beginning of course that is right? I found it fascinating that this man can dance so far and he makes liquor numbers, man. But I'm not going to do a video now after the man is dead. So the only thing that attracted me to this man is the fact that he's dead. Now I must do a video of him. Now I'm not going to do that guys. I did it on AKA because I got, I feel like I got a connection to AKA. That's why I did a video that represented AKA a bit. So you know what I mean? So I'm not going to do it. Of course, that it's beautiful song. But the fascinating part for me is why would you do it on a troll beat? What the fuck? It's a tribute. A troll beat is when you're talking shit about people and dissing dead homies and all that shit. It's not to pay tribute. The beat selection on this on this mixtape is so cut. Maybe I am hating a little bit on, on, on saying it just because I feel like He's not bringing the best out of youngster, man. But in youngsters, man, and in his man, and maybe in the old Cape Town's mind, yes, they, they saw putting each other, bringing the best out of each other. But for me, it's not so, man. When he met Ammo, that was dope. Okay, oh yeah, also, I think uh, Young Saini Jam made that number also. Dope. The beats are dope on the mixer, but it's not for youngster, man. It doesn't fit with youngster. I don't feel this whole mixer because... And then Cats is just another draw beat. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? And then youngster sounded like a British man. That just fucked me up. I was like, yo, other, other Benny McCarthy is going to be the best number on this mixtape. Yo, you sounding like a British man. And then I hear you on radio, rapping, talking like a British man, trying to, almost like that's something dope. I'm a big fan of youngster CPT and I, and I still love that man's music, all right? Besides Who Shot Who, there's not one song no, in this mixtape that I listen to again. Not one. I didn't listen to, the only reason why I listened to these songs again was for, so I can, I can give my opinion. If it wasn't for that, I would have just deleted that whole fucking shit off my phone. That whole mixtape is cuck. Cuz is bragging now saying, yeah, it's not even an album, but it's the quality is dope quality is the standard of an album. That's what Youngster is saying, right? He's clever. Cause if you called it an album, I would have said it's a cuck album. A mixtape means it's a body of songs, right? But it doesn't have a main focus around it. Which that's why I don't understand why he's not calling this an album. This, listen, yo, man. He planned on making this an album because it's a body of work that revolves around one topic, suffer for beauty, right? The quality of the sound is dope, right? The recording quality is dope. The beat 
standard is Kawhi, but the songs are cuck. So let me say it's a mixtape instead of an album because why? Now people, now it can be like, okay, if they say it's cuck, it's a, it's a mixtape. So you can't really judge me too much on a mixtape because I got 32 mixtapes. If you had to say it's an album, would have been straight like, nah, you cuck youngster, man. This whole album's poos, you know what I mean? Because I don't fuck with this whole project. It's really a shit project for me. At the end of the day, youngster is still the best rapper in Cape Town for me. He's still one got me on his side, you know what I mean? I'm still a fan of this man, but this shit, I'm not gonna listen to this shit again. Whenever I yell this mixtape, I'm always gonna yell ping, 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 ping. Look at Shane, they can make any type of beat. He's dope. He can make any type of beat. Make some other shit for youngster, cuz. You are a dope ass beat maker. You, you have fire. Like, I really do respect your craft because you are good. The beats aren't shit. But they don't fit with youngster. Make something that's for youngster. A good producer, a good beat maker is gonna make something that brings the best out of this man. Not makes him to sound cuck, man. Maybe, maybe, no. Your beats, no. This is the thing I think, man. Your beats are so good, no. Yeah, they only sound good played by itself. They don't sound good with the with the rapper on it. That happens. Your beats are so quiet that they only sound quiet when they're played alone. But when you put an artist on it, now the artist has to fight the beat. You know what I mean? Because his voice is also an instrument. You got all these instruments sounding so strong and gefaarlijk in the beat. Forgetting that the rapper must add his instrument also. Youngster Khan rap quiet on these beats. He doesn't sound like... Youngin, he doesn't sound like Riyadh. He doesn't sound like Yati on the on these songs, man. And that's what I want when I listen to this niggas music. I want to hear that, man. Where I come from is not the puzzle or riddle. Four fingers up, two twisted in the middle. If I was Bruce Wayne, it would be my bed. <laughs> not even that, man. Not even that. It's like, I want girls to just sound like, like how we sounded, man. On 2015, Youngster was the king, Jay. Yeah, this whole this whole mixtape is whack, man. Cuck. It's just my opinion, though, cuz. But respect to youngster, respect to Shaney J. Shaney J, you are a dope beat maker. You go far like you just don't know how to produce for this man. Yet, yeah, maybe you, you, you'll you get there. Maybe you, you guys will put out a dope mixtape. You know what I mean? But not, it didn't happen yet for me, cuz. Just boss life, no? IBK, liquor TV, and I hope you have a liquor day. Owens, man. Look at if you don't know, if you disagree with me and you say this album is actually his best, this mixtape is his best work, then tell me, cause I'll understand. We all got, we all got different opinions. I can't force my opinion on you. You same like you can't force your opinion on me. So a million of your owns can be like, yeah, but you talking cock. This mixtape is hard. The best mixtape I've ever heard in my life. Ping is my favorite song ever. I use that too much as my 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 alarm. Ping 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 ping. You know what I'm saying? Then tell me that shit, cuz I'll understand. I'll understand, but I, it's not my favorite number. Not my. This, this shit, I'm not gonna even listen to again. That is shocking. 12 songs of this man. 12 new numbers of this man, and I can't listen to one. What the fuck? That's so frustrating for me because there was a time, no way. The moment this man released a song, that song was on repeat ticket for a whole month. That song was my number a whole month. The moment this man released a single. Yeah, this man released 12 songs and not one song I fuck with. You know how disappointing that is for me. <sighs> Look at boss life I became and never liquid the 919 subscribers you did. Much love to your Owens, man. Much love.